So I'm here with BTCC driver Colin Turkington. So Colin, you've uh, just done qualifying, probably a little bit harder than you uh, might have expected it to be going into the uh, into the weekend, but it still puts you in a pretty good position to challenge in the races tomorrow. Yeah, I knew yeah, it wasn't going to be easy here at uh, at Thruxton. You know, it's always it's a very challenging track and. Um, the times are very close and we've maybe just not got the car completely pinned down today you know we've been been struggling in one particular area all day and um, you know that continued in qualifying so you know, we're only a, a few times shy of, of where we need to be but that that puts you back so um, qualified ninth today so still you know inside the top 10 is still encouraging with uh, with the success ballast I've got on the car but um, you know, I would like to have a better feeling from the car, so uh, that's that's what we'll work on uh, this evening. Now, uh, of course, ninth, not not that bad, um, and you you've shown time and time again how good you are at coming through a field. Uh, surely you, you might uh, be looking for top five, maybe even the podium from race one, or are you going to be taking it a bit easier? <laughs> yeah, it was certainly. Um, you know, I want to to push on and um, you know try and um, go forward a few positions. It's um, you know the the guys in front are um, you know don't have uh, a huge amount of weight with with exception of uh, of Matt and Gordon so it'll not be easy to make progress but you know it's about scoring well over the three races that's that's the key so uh, stay in contention uh, race one on uh, race two and um, you know could be like last year it could all come to me in race three. Now I was just talking to uh, Matt Neal and he says that for race one tomorrow because you've got to set a lap time for race two uh, it's going to be a case because you've got to do it early on you, some people might be attacking the kerbs but then the tyres will really be gone towards the end of the race and some people might play it safe but maybe not get, get the lap. Do you have an idea of uh, what you're going to do and how you're going to play, play it because it's not going to be the easiest situation is it? Yeah that's, um, yeah, that's um, uh, you know something we really have to, to manage and think about this year and you know that's that's the difficulty is if if you want to risk maybe not finishing race one for for you know cutting the curb and going for a quick time to improve your grid position race two it's um yeah it's uh, you're going to have a big choice to, to make uh, in those first few laps but i think it depends on where you are in the pack and um, if you have a clear clear road in front but uh, certainly a bit of strategy involved um, so uh, it is important to, to, to get a quick time and at Thruxton you have a very small window to do it so I think everybody will be will be pushing on uh, in those opening laps. And uh, finally there's been uh, five winners uh, in the opening, uh, six, five different winners in the opening uh, six races. Is it good for you uh, trying to retain your title that it's so open or maybe uh, that there isn't just one person starting to win consistently or is it bad that there's so many people capable of uh, winning this season? Oh, well, I think it's good for the championship that um, uh, you know it's so competitive. Um, you you really have to be um, on it all all the time, and certainly it's uh, it gets harder every year to to, to win this series. So um, yeah, it's a, it's the same for everybody. It's just more difficult to score well over the three races this year. Or, or that's been the pattern at, at Brands and Donington. So um, yeah, you just got to keep working hard and, and try and be at the front as often as possible. Okay, thank you very much for your time, Colin, and very good luck for the races tomorrow. No problem, thanks.